Okay, let's see. So, gonna open up OFL Studio 12. Okay, let's start up a new instance. Okay, and we will be uh, opening uh, from template toward one. And let's see, we will not need an Edison. Go to the audio clip and fish around on the desktop for the recorded audio of a ghost story. Boom, done. Um, normalize it. It's already got some really high peaks right here, so it's not going to make a difference. Written by Daniel Gwyn. Written by Daniel Gwyn. I don't know what happened. Written by Daniel Gwyn. I don't know what happened to the intro right there, the rest of the... We're just going to cut that out for now. Okay. Um, ACX standards say that you need to leave at least a second of space at the beginning and the end of your story. So we're going to go with ACX standards here. So we do have this uh, that's, uh, one bar on FL Studio. I die. It's about one second. So um, I'm pulling up our mixer. We already have a parametric EQ. Uh, the sound goodizer, which is a, um, just a... A compressor limiter with uh, like presets on it. Uh, it's just it's a one knob compression tool um, for usually use it for light compression. But we're just going to turn that off for now. And then the limiter is where we're going to set the RMS uh, values. So you need to be between 23 and negative 18. So all of your audio should fall within here. Uh, RMS. Um, so uh, getting started. Go ahead and play this. And I die. First thing we're gonna do the woods behind my we're house gonna crank the game on it. Existed, so we're hitting but I'll that, never tapping, forget tap. the relief that washed over me when my assignment came in. To this day, I don't know how I landed a poltergeist gig. But you don't question good fortune. See, so the For game is knocking the low stuff Geisting up. was my sole purpose. So we got the we've got the the gain here, bumping everything up, all the lowest sounds, and you and you're cr squishing the ceiling on that, so it's crushing it down. So it's limiting what what it can possibly be. Now, if you'll notice in between, there's still that little bit of noise there. So take the gain down. We don't want to increase that, but we make a really short release time and a really really short threshold and now it's not enough now it's not enough now it's completely silent in between and it should be poltergeist gig but you don't question good fortune for generations geisting was my sole purpose okay so it's already sounding a lot cleaner now back here on the and we'll go to the eq Notice there's the, the S's and the T's. That's almost all of that is exclusively right here in the presence, in, the, in this little bit, this little narrow bandwidth. So, got that. Um, so we can just could take one of our higher bandwidths and we're going to change the shape of this. So it's, so it's a, like an extreme scoop. We're going to go to the, uh, the bandwidth of this scoop and make it really narrow. Dip this way down like this, and then take this and move it up here into the presence. Poltergeist gig. But you don't question good fortune. For generations, so geisting was my sole purpose. So that, so that will take care of a lot of the sibilance. Pol um, if you notice, Poltergeist gig. If you see down here, they, there's stuff in the really, really sub-sub region. Poltergeist gig. But you don't question... Okay. Just to be on the safe side, I don't think it's necessary for this, but um, change the shape of the wave. Boom, boom. And anything below 20 hertz is garbage. It just makes noise on the speakers that you don't want. So just run this down to right about there. Um, and that way, any sounds um, below 20 hertz cannot get through. Um, any rumblings or anything like that, because it'll just end up making your, uh, your audio trashy. Poltergeist gig. But you don't question good fortune. For generations. Okay. 
uh, again to make it a uh, poltergeist gig. I'm going to take that and just actually let's go to one band lower and poltergeist gig. But you don't question good fortune. For generations, geisting was my sole purpose. Throwing stuff, stomping about in the middle of the poltergeist gig. But you don't question good fortune. For generations, geisting was my sole purpose. Throwing okay. stuff. God damn it. Uh, so, somewhere right over in here. Okay, now you start. Stuff. Stomping stuff. Stomp. Okay. This is where, like, fine tuning comes into play. Bam. Bam. You know. Stuff. Stomping about in the middle of the night and shrieking through the halls delighted me like a field of butterflies delights a toddler. Oh. Nothing compared. And you can go back through and just finish, you know, if you wanted to fine tune some of those breaths and like, but it's so minimal, minimal now. Stuff. I think it's going to be, I think teenagers. this will be fine for you, Nikolai. After teens lose their ability to see the unreal, their creativity evaporates. Actions when they grew up. Okay, now without me, their imaginations would have real atrophied quickly. like an unused limb. Okay, because you did. But have... I'm no monster. I never bother little kids. Real quickly sure, go back to the limiter. I'll float blocks or books around. Maybe make a teddy bear dance, but nothing bad. Okay, and right Besides, here where you have these high spikes. Little... Yes, yes sir. sir. The twins chimed in unison. Dark fear shimmered around them like a mirage on a street. I know that shimmer. I pull it from the living all the time. But the living aren't supposed to pull it from each other. The mother, small and deflated, threw open the drapes and pretended she was alone. Her fear shimmer was even darker than her children's. Okay, Lo there you go. It's like none of them. Yes, yes, sir. Still never goes over your negative 18 RMS. So the limiter is very much doing its job. Real quickly. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a listen to it. With yes, sir. The twins chimed in unison. Dark fear shimmered around them like a mirage on a street. That compression. See I that? know that shimmer. And that starts sounding over compressed, and that does not sound good. Yes, yes sir. The twins chimed in unison. Dark fear it, it, it shimmered. Start, it starts getting kind of brittle. Yes, sir. It gets, starts getting kind of brittle sounding. That's what you, yes. want, to, that's what you want to avoid. Yes, sir. See. The twins chimed in unison. Dark fear shimmered around them like a mirage on a street. I know that shimmer. I pull it from the living all the time. But the living aren't supposed to pull it from each other. The mother... Yeah, actually, yeah. Um, I think your your initial compression was good enough. And, uh, the compression being offered by the limiter is going to be fine. But anyway, so, yes. So the biggest lesson that I wanted you to take away from this is your EQing. There's something about the mic where the presence was up way too high. These uh, these S sibilants. Yes, sir. The it, twins chime. All, all of your vocals are, like, right in here, and it's making your S's and T's cut through so much uh, so just right here in this area just fucking scoop it out and that will fix that um and it also it might have a little bit to do with mic placement um i haven't seen your setup but um if you might want to try moving the microphone a little lower um i think that might help you a lot but anyway uh hope this helped if you have any questions hit me up on twitter um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and render this as, uh, mastered. I don't know what you want to do about the intro because it got cut off, but anyway, talk to you soon, man.